spoke about the highest and best. So I've been to a situation as a listing agent. We, ha- we, we did the highest. The owner just didn't want to go back and forth. They wanted to do highest and best. Because I always tell them, we can either, I can go to each and every one, or we can do highest and best. What do you want? And in that case, they chose the highest and best. After we already had it, then I'm getting another offer. And I never, I, I don't know. I mean, ethically, I would say, well, we said highest and best, so that's it. But if the other offer is higher, uh, what would you do with that? I mean, should I still I, present Listen, it? our job is to work for the seller, right? So if there's another offer mm-hmm. that could be better for the homeowner, we owe it to the homeowner to tell them. Uh-huh. Here, here's- Even though- here, here's here here is the here is the, the so my mentor my mm-hmm. mentor his name was Mac or his, mm-hmm. was his name is Mac Mac Levitt mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. I you know he, he listen I've been in real estate for over thirty some odd years and this was one of the first things Mac taught me and mm-hmm. I was I think twenty twenty two at the time and he said to me uh, it's called the mother test. If if the seller was your mother, what would you do? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, if it was your mother, okay. what would you do? Of course. I, I, I will let her know, of course. There, there's your answer. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I love that one, too. Thank you so much, Daryl. You're welcome. <laughs>